Hi Virgos, Coach Nayla Latrice here to give you all your messages. So let's jump right on in, all right, and see what the Most High has for us. Okay. Some of you guys are putting together a strategy, okay? There could be someone has remembered you and they're putting together a strategy or something. Someone could be thinking about you, putting together a strategy. You could remember an old strategy that you're using and you're putting it together as well. You guys could be looking through old family pictures and things like that. Something could be jogging your memory or, you know, um, but there's also something here about a sweetheart coming up with a plan or something, all right? I do have uh, the pay what you want readings, all right, Virgo? So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and book that down below in the description bar. All right, this is for Virgo. Let's just get one at a time. That's compromise and good news. So there's some type of good news coming, okay? Some type of compromise. I want three, just one at a time, please, Great Spirit. There's a lot of messages is here for you, Virgo. Something is fated to happen. This is for Virgos. For Virgos. You're on the right path. You're on the, the path that was, you know, meant for you. Like some type of star path. Yeah, look. Something was fated. Something was meant to happen. Something you've been imagining. Something about your memory and what you imagine. Okay? Yeah. Something very playful, something that you've been fantasizing in your mind to come about, all right? Maybe for you or you and your child, there's a variety of things. I'm hearing mind play, so you're, you've been playing, play pretend in your mind, but it's actually manifesting. What you've been just visualizing in your mind is actually coming together. So say you're like, well, you know what? If the only place I can have it is in my mind, I'm going to experience it in my mind then, you know, so you often go into your mind and you just, you know, play around with the thought or you, you be daydreaming and imagining something, you know, playing around, but actually you did that so much is actually your reality now or something like that. The number 63, you could be born in the year 63. Look what came back out. Compromise. So there's definitely some type of compromise here. All right, the number 33, ancestors are here. Compromising with the ancestors, so to speak. It's like the ancestors are speaking with you. It's like they're trying to get you to see something or notice something. The signs and synchronicity so you can follow the faded path to, to, to bring about what, what you've imagined. Nothing can happen in the 3D realm unless it's, it's, whoa, unless it's been imagined. Yeah, something that you've done spiritual work on. You've done spiritual work on this. Yeah, a lot of self-love. You've been practicing a lot of self-love. And I have the Ace of Cups here and the Empress as well sitting on top of this deck in front of me. Let's get one more. But there's some type of compromise here. Let's get one more. This is for Virgos. It's for Virgos. Virgo, okay. Mask. Something is behind a mask. Justice. There's some type of justice that you don't see coming. Tell me more about this mask. Tell me more about this mask. Something is going on behind the scenes. You may feel like you're you're walking in unknown territory, uncharted territory, but you have to trust the process. You have to trust that Mother, Father, God is leading you correctly. Kind of like you just sit back in the back seat and let your parents be in the front seat and trust that if there's a storm that, that, or if it's raining outside and y'all driving, look at what's here. Good news. Some type of good news. So in, the, in divine timing. That said divine intervention, but it's like if a rainstorm come or something, you got to trust that whoever's driving is going to get, everybody can't be in the driver's seat. So you got to trust that mother, father, God got you and that they're protecting you. Even if you can't see what's going on, they know how to navigate the storm better than what you do. So just sit back and stop trying to be a backseat driver. Whoop. What's this unknown? Merit making, you've been praying. You could be in the if if you could be in the back seat praying, so to speak, but that's all you can do. You can't take control of the will. Spirit got it. What's this mask? Some type of evidence. So some type of evidence is coming to light. Some type of research that has been done. Hermit energy. You guys could be a Virgo here as well. 
Well, this is a Virgo reading. I'd be so used to doing the personals and other things. Look, there's some type of luck here and the generals and stuff. But yeah, or you can have double Virgo in your chart. I'll say it like that, Virgo. But yeah, there's some type of un unseen or, uh, luck or a check or something like that. It's like, it's giving me uh, Clarence Publishing House. <laughs> I don't know if you're about to have like them knocking on your door, talk about you're the winner. That's, I don't know. It's That's what I'm picking up from this card. Some type of celebration. Like, that's what I'm picking up. There, it's like, you're the winner. You won this check or you won this competition or you won something here. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, I did it. So, and that's what's behind the mask. That's what's coming up. That's the unknown. You don't know if you're going to win or not. You, 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 you're you, hoping you do or whatever this is. You, you're hoping for a certain outcome or something like that. But it's mysterious still. Everything is still going on behind the scenes because everything still has to play out. So it's kind of like giving me draft day. They know that they've done everything up to this point to be drafted. And so they're like, Nail biters, like, oh my gosh, in my first draft, my first, second draft, like, like I, I, I got to get chosen. But you are, you, you, you get it, but it has to become official or something like that. You're waiting for it to become official. What is this right here with this magician, spiritual practices here? Yeah, I see you doing a lot of um, white magic. Look, it's connecting with your ancestors, with this family here. Yeah, your ancestors is working this out for you. It says, yeah, look what came back out. Something is taking place. Good news. I'm trying good news for you and your family. I'm trying to tell you something about the color pink. I have pink nails on too, and both of these are pink. I don't know if you can really tell that. Yeah. Something you've been praying for. Also see that you're if anyone has been doing any type of negativity, sending any type of negative, whether it's words, people that don't want you to win, you know, anything like that, that type of energy, you've been protected from that. The, the divine is protecting you from any type of natural disasters that people may be wanting you to experience. Why is compromise here for Virgo? Compromise? Why is compromise here? Look. Merit making, your prayers, your prayers of triumph, your prayers of winning, you triumph, you are triumphant, you're winning, you're successful, you have victory, you have achievement, however you want to call it, and it's right on time, it's on schedule, some type of divine intervention, your, your ancestors are bringing in some type of good news out of the wind, out of nowhere, yeah, this triumphant, you, you, you're getting this trophy. That's the compromise. Remember I said earlier, you're compromising with your ancestors and look how I'm reading it and it's coming back like that. Yeah. And again, it's right on time. Something is right on schedule. It's like you're going to catch it. You catch it. You know, it's like your slow, time is slowing down just for you. There's always more than enough time for you to get done whatever you need done. There's always more than enough time for you to pay the bills that you need to pay, for you to pay the expenses that you need to pay, for you to get the money and do everything you need to do. Time is working for you. Time is a tool, even though you can't see it, it's a tool. Just like money is a tool and the uh, uh, a car is a tool and all of these other things, they're tools. Imagination, imagination. But yeah, you're, you're getting some type of trophy or some type of, some type of recognition. My phone ringing, hold on y'all. Hello? Hello? Yeah? I'm good. How you doing? All right, y'all. That was a money call. <laughs> money flows to me. Money flows to me from the north, south, east, uh, west, and east, baby. That was a money call. Literally, how you doing? I'm good. What you doing right now? I'm getting ready. I told them what I'm getting ready to do. I got a show. I'm getting ready to go perform. You know, I got my got my suit on and so forth, you know. And it was like, okay, I'm sending you some money. Oh, I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, I'm sending it, I'm sending your kids some money too. It ain't my kids' father, nobody like that, no. I was like, oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So there we go. Just I literally I was not expecting that. So expecting I was not. 
expecting that. So expect the unexpected. When it comes to your money, your finances, money, I'm, I'm in the middle of the read. I'm trying to tell you, you guys, keep believing. Keep having faith. Go get your, your, your Kabbalah strings. I call them my faith strings from Nadia from Uniquely Me Services. Her link is down below in the description bar. Even ever since I've been starting to wear this, everything has just reversed. I mean, every, everything, everything has reversed. Woo. Woo. I, ooh, I just want to just stream. But I ain't about to mess up my makeup. But this is how I feel, like just letting the tears flow. It's like my eyes are burning. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Why is imagination here for Virgos? Virgos, that was your sign. Uh, imagination. Expect money calls. 1101, you're in alignment. Not just for you, but for you and your, your children. Imagination. Gift, you deserve it. Relaxation. In your mind, you've been imagining a situation where you could just relax because the money is just flowing in. Even if you were just experiencing the obstacle yesterday, today is a brand new day. And when you have faith, baby, mother, father, God, they show up. Didn't I just say you sit back because if you are in the middle of the storm, they are the ones who know how to navigate it. And they are the ones who send people your way unexpectedly. I <clears throat> I'm just trying. I'm just trying to tell you, Great Spirit. What messages do you have for Virgo? What messages do you have for Virgo? Let's get to it, Virgo. We got Seven of Swords. Something could be happening again behind the scene, unknowingly. This King of Wands. Okay, I'm getting Archangel Uriel. Is what I'm getting. A, a very powerful person. This could be you being in this, this, I wanted to say emperor energy, but it's king of wands. So there could be a king of wands, but they're a boss, they're a leader, they're an emperor here. All right, Aries, they could be an Aries with this king of wands and the, the, uh, the emperor represents Aries energy. We also have this, they could be coming bearing gifts. I just feel like you're just getting gifts raining all over you is what I feel. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be okay, Virgo. It's gonna be okay. We all have dark times. We all have times that we go through. And a lot of us Virgos, we go through it by ourselves. Because so many people hate on us because we're so beautiful. And we're so bright. And we're just so magnetic who we are. We're just dope-ass, cool-ass people. And the non-dope-ass, cool-ass people, they be hating on us. That's just all. But like Cat Williams says, if you ain't got no haters, then you ain't doing something right. So you need to gather all the haters, gather them all up, and give them a show. Great spirit. This is <laughs> something that's happening also to shift your energy into faith, into believing. It could be a phone call. When we be saying phone calls and messages are coming through, it'd be real stuff, real life, real time situations. And y'all saw just real time. Something is going on here that something else ain't coming out. What else is here for Virgo, Great Spirit? Because we got the Seven of Swords here. Some type of juggling. Using your intuition. Virgo, I know this feels kind of all over the place to read, or I feel it is, but just stick with me. Stick with me. Thank you. Seven of Swords. Okay. Six of Cups. We have the Empress here. Yeah. Hey, Virgos. I had to pause the video right quick, okay? But like I said, we have the Seven of um, Swords and the Six of Cups. So definitely um, something's coming back around from your past here. And with this Empress energy here as well, it's kind of like you're sitting on your throne, all right? Um, and I have to say this. This definitely uh, may apply to you. Um, with this Empress energy and Five of Cups, either you or somebody around you could be a mother figure that is in this Five of Cups or regretful energy here as well but something about your childhood or something about you being playful what is this energy 
Tell me more, great spirit. You guys could be having a lot of interruptions as well. Look, there's been some type of secret since childhood. Come on now. There's been a secret since childhood that somebody's been trying to sneak away with or something like that. There could be something old to you and somebody's trying to give you a smaller portion of what's old to you just to keep you satisfied and shut to and to shut you up. Type of energy, excuse me. Mm. Somebody could be holding something back. Tell me one more, great spirit. One more. Yeah, they're giving you little, it's like, somebody, yeah, look, it's like you're, you're only getting a smaller portion of something that's that's supposed to be bigger. But you don't know what you don't know, so there may be something you need to investigate. Again, Virgo, here you are. Remember that the hermit energy came out? There, ne there needs to be something that you investigate. Somebody could be trying to stab you in the back or something. That's not the type of energy that I want to bring here. But let's see what else is here. You're starting on a brand new path, though. You're going in a new direction that way. You're going in a new way or something like that. That's the truth. One more for the Seven of Swords. Yeah, there's some type of surprise here. There's something coming that you don't know about. There's some type of new offer, new beginning that's starting off here for you. Some type of spiritual commitment. This is God showing up. God got you. God got you. You guys have copycats around you as well. People that want to be you. When I tell you this, people wanting to quote unquote switch destinies and switch souls and stuff with you. I was like, okay, I'm very esoteric and very spiritually inclined. And so I know about a lot of things. But at the same time, I can be like, you know, people, that ain't really true. People ain't trying to do. Let me tell you. This shit is real. I ain't going to tell you how I know. You better protect you. You better protect yourself. I got my evil eye and I got bigger evil eyes and so forth. It ain't coming up. I ain't about to force it. I got my lotus flower on. But God is showing up in the midst of everything. Okay. Virgo, this read was kind of all over the place. I'm going to get a final message and I'm going to close this out. And then I'm going to come back and do a, do another one for you guys real quick. Great Spirit, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Great Spirit, this is for Virgos, the final advice. Just know, Virgo, that something you've wished for, something you've asked for is coming through. Expect some money calls, Virgo. Everything is going to be all right. This wants to come out, whatever this is. Create. Spirit is asking you to create because that's going to help you to expand here. Is what I'm picking up on. Yeah, because it's going to be a fresh start that you're manifesting here, Virgo. Okay? Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here for you, Virgo. Yeah, you're having a lot of options here. Is what I'm seeing. Okay, Virgo? But don't be afraid to express yourself. Take it from me. Follow the leader. Okay? It's like I'm doing, I'm doing what I'm being called to do as a creative, as an artist. So follow your dreams. Don't be afraid to, to take the first step. I, I've been doing this for a long time and I'm just now getting to where I am. And I still got a long way to go. But this shit don't ever stop. So you have to you have to start and just don't stop. Keep putting towards your creation, Virgo. I'm telling you. And baby, the people I've met, the, the connections I've met, it's just out of this world. So it's definitely going to expand you. It's definitely going to put you in different rooms, Virgo. Okay. So you guys, I'm going to get off of here. Um, that way I can get another read in for you guys really quick. Hopefully that read will be in uninterrupted. But just know if you do have interruptions going on in your life, that's just, it's, it's everything just falling into place. Exactly how it's meant to be. Okay. So Virgo, these are your reads. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. You guys can also book your pay what you want readings down below in the description bar, as well as your spiritual coaching. And I will see y'all in the next one. I am Coach Nayla Latrice. Peace.